Hello everyone, we will continue the topic persistence class and in the previous video we covered the most important part of the persistence class that what is the significance of attribute agent which is in our actor class or agent class. We never create a object of actor class or agent class outside the class it is in the class itself it is in the class itself sap will create the object and we only only need to get the object it is a simple understanding how we are creating the object create object object name but we will not do this outside the class it is in the class itself we only only need to get and whatever the object or instance is creating it is one always one throughout the whole session in the program throughout the whole session of the program now our major target is to access this attribute agent into our program how we will do that now this is our program how we will go for this attribute agent into our program. This is our class. This is our class. We want to access the attribute agent of this particular class. So how we will get? This is our class. And it is a static attribute. If you see, this is the static attribute. And you all know, Whenever you want to go for static, yeah, you have to put equal to. Now, what is the name of the attribute agent? Now, we are going for the agent attribute of our actor class or agent class. Just simple, simple. I will put here allo underscore agent. It is clearly, clearly understandable. If you see, this particular class, what is the what is this what is the type of this agent attribute? If I will click here, agent attribute is referring to our actor class or agent class. And if you see allo underscore agent, allo underscore agent is referring to our agent class or actor class. So we will simply, simply whatever the instance or object will create, we will get into this particular variable. Yes, or you can say this is the variable which is referring to our agent class or actor class. This is our object. Now, whenever I will show you in that debugging mode, you will get 100% clarity. Now, just see this definition now will make you more more sense. Whenever you will access this attribute into your program, we are accessing this attribute into our program. We are accessing now the static constructor. Yes, the static constructor or class underscore constructor method will create the object, will create the object and we will simply simply get so i will put a break point here also so that you can understand i will put a break point here also i'll just activate and show you once the object will be there then there is no problem i will run suppose i'm inserting the order number suppose 800 I will go for a order number which is not in that table. I will check so that I can show you. Now this is our order header table because we can insert a new order number. Okay, 890 is not there. I will go for 890. As of now, I am not passing rest of the things because I want to explain more things. I will go for insert radio button. I will execute. Start of selection event triggered. I will go to desktop 3. So have you seen? 
फर्स्टली क्लास अंडर स्कोर कंस्ट्रक्टर मैथड कॉल्ड फॉर द एजेंट क्लास दिस इज एजेंट ब्लैंक एज ऑफ नाउ नाउ इट इज क्रिएटेड नाउ कंट्रोल विल बी इन अवर प्रोग्राम सी जस्ट सी हेयर इट सेल्फ द ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएटेड ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएटेड वी आर नॉट क्रिएटिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट इन द प्रोग्राम इट इज क्रिएटेड इन द क्लास इट सेल्फ now we are only only getting see now if i will click here this particular agent class agent you can see we have same to same instance same to same object we are simply passing it to our object which we declared into our program and you can see if i will do f6 hello underscore agent yes throw out this whole execution this will this instance will remain same to same the object will remain same to same because one time we are creating the object of actor class or agent class in a particular session anyways we are not creating the class underscore constructor method is creating we are only accessing in our program now now the object of the actor or agent class is available can i call the method create underscore persistent yes now just see focus here because important point will come we are going for order number 890 whenever i will do f6 the object of cl class will create and you can see the object of cl class is created now if the object of cl class is created can i go for other things yes we can set the order date payment mode total amount currency yes because these all are instance method object creation is compulsory as of now we have not passed anything to these variables these parameter so it will simply call the method order date payment mode total amount and currency as of now we have not passed and the program done now if i will go to that table and i will refresh people will say everything is perfectly fine why why 890 is not in that table this is the next important question from the interview perspective interviewer will ask you when you used a database operation insert update delete modify you have not done anything once the execution done data is reflected into the database table but in case of classes whenever you are using classes if you will do the right if you have written the right logic everything is perfectly fine will data reflect into database table answer is no you need to tell that to the interviewer that we need to explicitly write a commit work statement most important question whatever the classes persistence classes you are using for database operation they will not do the auto commit in the database table you need to explicitly write commit work once you will write the commit work data will reflect into the database tables now what is the summary of this video up to this level in this video but we did we simply accessed the static attribute of agent class into our program and you all know whenever there is a static we have equal to and greater than so for agent class we are accessing the attribute agent and we pass the result to our local object of the program now i put the breakpoint and showed you as if we created the object we are getting the object we pass the object to this particular variable or you can say this is our reference variable and object created 
we call the method next important point whenever we called the method of agent class the object of whenever we call the method of agent class object of cl class we get from this agent class and we called the methods but data did not reflect into the tables we need to write the commit work statement in the next video i will simply simply write the commit work and show you the result into the tables so that's it in this particular video thank you